Well, good morning, church family, this Monday morning. Uh, trust you're well, and uh, welcome to another Kings at Home Daily. My name's Goff, one of the leaders here, and uh, my privilege to take us through the next few verses, the, the study we've been doing in 2 Corinthians and chapter 4. So um, if you have a Bible with you, you might want to turn there. And uh, while you're flicking there, as always, let's pray and ask the Holy Spirit to speak to us, encourage us, warm our hearts as we set off into a new week. Lord, we, we want to say we love you. We want to honour you today in everything that we do, in our thoughts, our words. Uh, we, we, want to, we want to please you. So please open your word to us. Open the eyes of our hearts. Speak to us. Encourage us. Lord, I pray for timely words for different ones this morning as we come to your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, some really well-known verses today that uh, we could we could spend all morning looking at but um, there's things to be done today so we won't we won't spend all morning we've just got the next 10 minutes but uh, these are really um, insightful words that Paul's writing uh, we've spoken a lot of these of the last week or two about Paul and his situation the pressures he's under um, and yet uh, the, the confidence he has that that, that God is still at work in him and through him uh, despite the challenges well we're really in the middle of the challenges here 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 7 just I can't resist looking back at that lovely verse that I had on Friday my, one of my favorite verses 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8 the God who said let light shine out of darkness has made, um, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Well, I love that verse, the God of creation who spoke the word, um, called us to himself and brought us to life. Beautiful. Next, however, there's a but. But we have this treasure in jars of clay so that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Well, the first thing to, to note, to say, is it, it's treasure, the pure treasure of being a Christian, being born again, having the life of God in us. He, he breathed new life into us. That's, that's what it is to be a Christian. You've been born again. The breath of God has come into you. You've been made alive. You, were, you and I, we were dead in our trespasses and sin. And by the grace of God, we were made alive by his calling um, and his uh, opening of our eyes to, 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 to come to know him. So treasure, treasure, treasure. You have treasure. The treasure of knowing Jesus. Actually, it's more than that. It's a, the treasure that you have. It's an inheritance that can never spoil or, 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 or perish. It, it's, it's very, very precious. But it's in jars of clay. We are, some of us more aware than others, we're physically frail. Uh, gone are the, for, for, you know, I mean, there are certain periods of our life where we may feel that we could conquer the world. Young, fit, healthy, confident. But of course, um, it passes. In a, it can pass in a moment. You know, we, we, uh, the, we, as we realise as the world goes by that we're actually quite frail in, 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 in various ways. And so Paul, he's saying we've got this treasure in jars of clay to show that the all-surpassing power is from God. You know, this is, this is so important. God's not so interested in superstars as reflectors, people who will reflect his glory. Paul said elsewhere, doesn't he, that the, that the gospel is foolishness. To, 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 to those who don't understand the truth. It, it can appear foolishness. We've got treasure in jars of clay so that all the glory can go to God. I mean, I'd much rather have it that way, wouldn't you? Perhaps when you, that you feel inadequate or I'm no good or I can't do this, goodness me, I feel that. Most times I get up to preach, I feel like that. that. You know, I get up in the morning, Lord, <laughs> what am I going to say? What are we going to do? 
I'd far rather it were that way round so that um, hopefully the Lord gets the glory and not not me because that's ugly. So treasure in jars of clay so that all the glory goes to God. We're hard pressed on every side. Now some of you might be just now hard pressed on every side. Um, yeah, I've certainly known periods of my life hard pressed on every side. The pressures of life are real. It doesn't mean you're not um, a, good, a good Christian if you feel pressures. Absolutely not. We're, we're hard pressed on every side, says Paul. But we're not crushed. By the grace of God, he will not allow us to be crushed. He will keep us united to him who is, that lovely verse in, in, in Jude, to him who's, who's able to keep you uh, from falling and present you faultless. He who has called you will keep you. So you may feel pressures this morning, hard pressed on every side, but you won't be crushed because your heavenly father knows your capacity. He knows all about you and he's going to bring you home one day. You might be perplexed. Are you perplexed? Lord, why is this happening? What's going on? Perplexed. It doesn't mean lack of faith to, when you, to say I'm perplexed, but not crushed. Sorry, but not in despair. Not in despair. We might have questions, but Lord, I'm going to keep on trusting you. Lord, I don't understand, but my trust is in you. My confidence is in you. Persecuted, well, uh, Paul certainly was. He was often in prison and, and so on for his faith, but not abandoned. Even in a prison cell singing, Lord, you're here with me. And the, he, he knew the presence of the Lord wherever he was. And so can you know that too. And so do I. No matter what you're going through, he is with you. I will not leave you as orphans. Jesus promised his disciples, I will come to you, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Wonderful verse. Struck down, but not destroyed. Folks, I, I, this is actually a wonderful passage. And I, I want to encourage you this morning, no matter what you are going through, I want you to know that it's an opportunity for the grace of God in your life. I think be true to say Angie and I have um, felt uh, buffeted around of late various things going on in our life and around our lives um, and yet you know through it all it, 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 it can and should bring you to a greater sense of dependence as a there's a favorite song of Angie's at the moment that uh, I think Lou Fellingham sings it lean hard lean hard lean on the everlasting arms and, uh, and, and that, that's a beautiful thing, leaning on the Lord. Lord, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know what to do here, but I'm leaning on you. Lord, I'm, I'm perplexed, but I'm leaning on you. Lord, uh, there's challenges in my life, maybe with health or, or, or family or whatever, but I'm going to lean on you today. That is precious to the Lord. It's precious, precious to him. And, and one day, uh, the, the more we lean, the more we will reflect the glory of God. The more we trust him, the more we lean, the more we will reflect his glory one day. We're always carrying around in our body the death of Jesus, so the life of Jesus may also be revealed in us. Um, for we are who are alive, we're being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So, you know it's a distortion of the gospel to say that come to Christ and you'll never have a problem again. That's not the gospel. The gospel is come to Christ and you will be born again. You'll be saved for eternity. You'll have a future hope and a destiny and your heavenly father will bring you through to full enjoyment of that uh, in his good time. Meanwhile, his grace is sufficient for you and for me and his power is made perfect in our weakness believe it or not it's true and and i'm going to pray for us today as we head off into whatever we're facing i pray that you would know the grace of god in your life in just the way you need it today 
so that all the glory can go to the Lord Jesus. Lord, we, we just reflect on these words we've just read. And we, I just pray for those who are feeling under pressure today, those feeling perplexed, weighed down, buffeted. Lord, I pray that there'd be a rising up on the inside, but I'm not crushed because I'm a child of the King. I'm not despairing because I'm trusting in my Heavenly Father. And so we pray for one another, Lord, today, that we would lean hard on the everlasting arms and find the joy that comes from trusting you. Lord, be with us today, wherever we're going, whatever we're doing. We pray all the grace we need for what we're going through, what we're going to be facing today, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day and um, see you again later in the week. Bye now.